Welcome back to Post Time. What you're about to witness is one of the most impressive comebacks in sports history. And it happened at Dover Downs in the matron final for two-year-old trotting fillies. They're off from the outside. There goes Dorsey off of that lead. Check me out toward the inside. Paris, Kentucky also leaves. Farther out, that's Blue Muscles. Voluptuous Rhonda trots in fifth. Followed by exercise to go. Master's voice gets away last midway on the first turn. Off stride is check me out. Check me out is on a break on that first turn. They go to the quarter and Paris, Kentucky has the lead. 27 and four fifths. Check me out is still galloping and is far back. They come by the stands and the leader is Paris, Kentucky. Sitting in second is Dorsey. Two more lengths. That's Blue Muscles. Followed by Voluptuous Ronda, then comes Exercise to Go, Master's Voice, and about 15 lanes and trotting now, check me out. Could she ever do it? They go into the clubhouse turn. Paris, Kentucky, Dorsey sitting in second. Another two lanes back, Blue Muscles, followed by Voluptuous Ronda. Then it's Exercise to Go, Master's Voice, and now it's about eight lanes to check me out. 58 and one fifth, they go to the back stretch. Paris, Kentucky has the lead. In second, that's Dorsey up on the outside, Voluptuous Ronda. Blue Muscles is there, fourth racing, fifth on the outside. Exercise to go, then it's Master's Voice. And catching the pack now, Check Me Out is about seven or eight off the lead. Has picked up at least 15 lengths to go by three quarters, 127 and four fifths. Around the final turn, Voluptuous Ronda has the lead. That's Blue Muscles circling up on the far outside. Check Me Out is up into third going after the leaders. They're at the top of the stretch turning for home. Voluptuous Ronda on the far outside. Check Me Out. They come off the turn. Check Me Out coming on the outside after Voluptuous Ronda coming through the stretch. Check Me Out is up to get the lead. Check Me Out made up 20, 25 lanes to win in 158. Okay, Tim, let's start out with the question, why did she go off stride? Uh, just some bad luck. She got a little jammed in the hole there and, uh, you know, got a little nervous locked in the hole there for about two steps and I just couldn't hold her back together. And, you know, we got back on stride and, and it was just some bad luck at the time. At that very moment in your life, <laughs> what were you thinking? I think it th took three years off my life, but, uh, you know, I was like scared to death and like I couldn't believe it was happening at first and then, you know, I got her out of the way and got her stopped, but got right back on stride there about the quarter. And, you know, she trotted really amazing mile to get back in the race and let alone win it. Yeah, when it happened and she just, just went off stride and kept running and running and running, the photographer was standing next to me and she was like, she's going to come back and win this. She's going to win this. And I was like, no, honey, I'm really sorry. She's not going to. She's not going to win this, right? So, um, at, for believing. <laughs> not a problem. Okay. Oh, who were you at that point? Were you me or the photographer? Uh, you know, I, I still knew she could go with the, the field that she was in with, and uh, um, I just wanted to get her back on stride, and I didn't want to rush her too fast. You just kind of make up some steady ground and, you know, use a big last quarter because most of the fillies that were in there, you know, in the eliminations, they couldn't trot with her at all, and, you know, she went such an amazing mile. I still believed at the half I still had a little bit of a shot, and, you know, thank God she raced as good as she did, and she still got the job done. Is this anything short than a miracle? Because I don't think so. It was an amazing mile. You know, I, it probably gives her a chance at Horse of Your Honors, which is uh, be a big step for a two-year-old trot in Philly, and I hope she gets it. Now, the talk on the street is that she could be the next Continental Victory, okay? Now, if you don't know who Continental Victory was, she beat the boys in the Hamiltonian. I think you were uh, 15 years old in 1996 when she was Horse of the Year. I don't know if you remember Continental Victory, but where does she rate in your book? I mean, check me out. Uh, she's amazing, and... Uh, you know, a couple of the other guys that's been around with Continental Victory said she's the only one comparable to her, but she's still got to prove that she can do it next year as a three-year-old and, and try to do it against the boys. But, uh, you know, right now she's, uh, I think, the best two-year-old trotter in the nation right now. Okay, on another note, I want everybody out there to know that Tim Tietrich is now on Twitter. It is Teacher Racing, so make sure you follow him because he's going to be tweeting like crazy. I just know it. And um, the other thing is huge milestone birthday coming up, right? Yeah, I'm going to be 30, so it's almost over, right? <laughs> what? No, life begins at 30. Actually, life begins at 40. So, I mean, really, you have 10 more years to go before you start having fun. What are you going to do on your big milestone birthday? Probably race. <laughs> you know, that's probably it. Hopefully go to dinner and you know, hopefully win a bunch of races. That's uh, usually a good birthday present. 
Absolutely. Thank you, Tim, for being on the show again. All right, no problem. Thanks. The matrons are some of the oldest and most prestigious stakes in harness racing, and they're competed right here at Dover Downs. Now, we already met Check Me Out. Let's honor some of our other two-year-old champs from the matrons. In the over $116,000 final for two-year-old Colt Trotters, it was Pico Fashion who won and won 56-1 with Tim Tietrich. The son of Broadway Hall is owned by Fashion Farms and conditioned by Jim Campbell. Pacing division for Phillies, going for over $126,000, saw Destiny's Champs wire the field with David Miller in the bike. Owned by Randy Ringer, she won in 153 for trainer Ron Burke. Finally, it was Heston Blue Chip winning the two-year-old pacing Colt and Gelding final. Tim Tietrick drove him to a 150-4 victory for owner Ken Jacobs and trainer Linda Toscano. Those were the two-year-old champs. And if you're wondering about the three-year-olds, well, I'll show you those matron champions on next week's Post Time. So make sure you tune in. Thanks so much for spending the past half hour with me. And I hope I see you up at Dover Downs this week for great live action. We've got a little change up with the upcoming holiday. This week, Dover Downs has live action, Monday through Wednesday, with a post time of 4.30 p.m. Then on Saturday and Sunday, the post time is 5.30 p.m. So remember, there's no live racing on Thursday and Friday. So have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And let's talk about the simulcasting action. The Dover Downs Race and Sports Book features simulcasting of major harness and thoroughbred racing seven days a week from 12 noon to 12 midnight. It's also the place to take in all professional sporting events from around the country. Don't forget there's always free parking and free admission at Dover Downs. Just call 302-674-4600 for more information or visit them on the web at doverdowns.com. Have a wonderful week. Happy Thanksgiving, gobble gobble, and God bless.